there, you two. I've been getting a lot of emails asking me about breath control with playing the flute. And it seems like that's a big problem for a lot of you out there. When I was first learning how to play the flute, I went in for a band test and I played a piece for my band director and I played every single note perfectly and I flunked the test. And the reason was I took a breath in between every single note and I didn't realize I was doing that until my band director pointed it out to me. So if you're not sure if you're doing that, you might want to ask somebody um, to listen to you or just listen to yourself really carefully and make sure you're not taking a breath in between every single note. When learning to play the flute, most beginning students blow too hard. It's not the amount of air that you push through the flute. You have to remember, it's the size, the speed, and the direction of your airstream that's gonna help you get a nice controlled sound. But when you're blowing too hard and your air is going all over the place, then you're gonna get really dizzy. Everybody come close. I want to share something with you. You see this picture? This is the human lung. It is the largest, I repeat, the largest organ we have. So the surface area of the human lung is about the size of a tennis court. Today we are going to learn how to use all of those muscles to help us breathe. Step number one to breathing, you need to relax. Step number two, when you take a breath, you should first feel your stomach expand. So you should think about how you feel a glass of water. When the water goes into the cup, it starts down at the bottom. Same thing, when you first take a breath, put your hand on your stomach. And your stomach should move out a couple of inches. If it's not, then you're probably taking a big breath up here. Step number three, kind of going along with the previous step, you want to start at the bottom, but you want to move up towards the top when you fill up with air. And the, re the way I know that I've gotten a really good breath is I can feel my muscles expanding everywhere. I can even feel the muscles in my back expanding. Step number four, breathe out as much as possible. So I want you to think about a tube of toothpaste, and I want to th you to think about pushing the air out from the bottom. And I want you to squeeze as much air out of the lungs as you possibly can. You have more control over exhaling than you do inhaling. So use those muscles, squeeze that air out. We're gonna go over a breathing exercise that you can practice on your own. But before we begin, just a quick tip, if you can do some type of yoga or meditation exercises, either in the morning or in the evening, that's gonna help you a lot with getting the airflow going through your body. And eventually we want this to just become natural. We don't want you to have to think about it. So here we go with the exercise. I want you to practice this breathing exercise five minutes a day. That's all I ask, five minutes, and it's gonna help you a lot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your metronome and if you don't have a metronome, you can go to metronomeonline.com and it's free. And you're gonna set it at 60 beats. Okay? Nice and slow. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna practice correctly inhaling air for four counts and then you're gonna hold it for four counts and then you're gonna exhale for four counts. So we're gonna try it together. Are you ready? Here we go. Excellent. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale for four, 
hold for four, and then we're gonna exhale for six counts. And that's gonna help push out every last bit of air in our lungs as possible. So here we go, ready? Now what we're gonna do, we're going to inhale for three counts. We're gonna hold for three, and then we're gonna exhale for seven. And the reason we're, we're making it shorter now, um, the inhale, is because I want you to get used to taking in more air in a shorter amount of time. Because whenever you play fast music, sometimes that's all you have. You have a split second, to get all that air in. So I want you to practice trying to get it all in in three counts. So here we go. Excellent, you guys did such a great job. All right, so I want you to practice that on your own and you can mess around with the different times that you inhale or exhale and hold it. But I think this is really gonna help you. I will definitely be posting some more videos in the future on breathing um, because this definitely seems like a problem for a lot of students out there. I hope this has helped you, but last but not least, remember, Music isn't music unless you're having fun.